Hey everyone, I am Mac, and yes, I am doing another video. I'm trying to get more videos in without waiting a month or anything like that. Um, this is the first time in a while I have been doing my videos in the early morning hours, and it's actually 1.55 a.m. 105, 155 here, gosh. I must be tired or something. Anyway, without further introduction, let's start our video. If you grew up in the 70s or had an appreciation for old school television shows, chances are you have heard of Red Fox. Fox was known for playing Fred Sanford in the popular sitcom Sanford and Son. Fox was also known for being one of the greatest comic, comic of actors of all time. His hopes were granted to leave you in stitches for a long time, but there was one possible joke he, he pulled out sti sticking around long after he was gone. The question is, was he hoping or did he live up to what he said in the, after his ultimate passing in 1991? Around the, the final years of his life, Fox owned a home in Las Vegas. It, it is considered to be, as, to be a popular off-the-strip tourist location, particularly by fans of his. But is the place haunted? It is worth the paranormal fanatics time to check this place out. Well, with, mm, I can't read. The life and times of one of the most recognized African American entertainers that has ever graced the television set of our past. Fred. Red Fox was born John Elroy Sanford on December 9, 1922, in St. Louis, Missouri. His family later located to Chicago, where he spent his childhood years in the south side region of the city. His father was an electronic who originated from Kentucky. His mother, a native of Mississippi, was Seminole, was a, was a Seminole descent. If I pronounce anything wrong, and I apologize in advance. Fox began his entertainment career in 1939 when he when he was cast member of a radio program known as Major Wow's Aim and Sir Hour. He was one of the members of the group known as Hub Sweeney Six. Hub Sweeney Six. My bad. Throughout the 40s, Fox crossed paths with Malcolm Little. Little nickname was for Fox was Chicago Red. Because of Fox's reddish hair, his this nickname was likely the inspiration behind Fox's eventual stage name. Little, of course, when likely the ins when later be known as Malcolm X, one of the more well-known figures in the civil rights movement. As World War II broke out, Fox improves improv improvs a plan that would lead him to dodge the draft. He managed to eat half a bar of soap before he would, before he, his pre resurfaced physical. As a result, he experienced palpitations. Because of them, Fox was medically disqualified for service. In the late 1940s, Fox began recording a as a musician, he released five songs while he was a contract under Savory Records label. By the late 1940s, he was in nightclubs and performing comic acts that seemed to be considered ranchy at the time. At, at the point in time, it was pretty much unheard of. During one of his acts, singer Daya 
Diana Washington with the Spartans community prominent ability is was able to convince him to travel to Los Angeles and perform. In, 19, in the 1950s, Fox became one of the first African American entertainers to present in front of a white audience. His most notable performance was white, with a white audience was on the Las Vegas Strip. Though in the 1960s, Fox continued to perform stand-up comedy. He managed to appear in a few films throughout the decades. However, it was in 1972 when Fox went from appearing on stage to appearing on television. He was cast as Fred Sanford, named after his father and older brother in the television show Fred Sanford and Son, Sanford and Son. Working alongside Fox was Demon, Demon Wilson, who who played friend, friend's son, Lambot. The, show, the show's narrative was centered around Fred Sanford and his son owning a junk yard in the Watt neighborhood of Los Angeles. The show aired on NBC and was considered to be the alternative to All in the Family, which aired on Same same yet. Incidentally, the latter excuse me. The latter's creator, Norman Lear, was said to have a hand in giving Sanford and Son a green a green light. Fox's friend, Sanford, character was known for being on Crum and was seen, seen as similar to Art Saint Runner and All in the Family. The show itself rivalized racial comedy and changed the name for comedy shows that feature prominently African American characters. One of Fox's notable acts as Sanford was often delivering lines like "You Big Dummy." While he was angry at La, while he was angry at Lamar, Lamont. However, he was known. Known for faking heart attacks and saying the lines like, This is the main one, main one, honey, Elizabeth, I'm coming home. Now, someone say on the air after for another five years, the final season aired in 1976. The show ended in the following year. No, the show ended in 1997. It wouldn't have been long until Fox's. Fox replaced his friend Sanford character in a ABC TV series, Sanford. Unfortunately, the show was short-lived and ultimately got cancelled at the end of 1980. Six years later, he starred in the Red Fox show, which also was short-lived after about 12 episodes. No much of the 1980s, Fox's career to seem have reached a grinding halt that was until 1989, when he was cast to play a role in the film Harlem, Harlem, Harlem Nights, starring Eddie Murphy. As the movie was, rousing, was a rousing success, it would have appeared that Fox's career may have had a new life. Two years later, Murphy had started production sitcoms featuring mostly black cast members, one of them known as the Royal Family. The show focused around a mail carrier in Atlanta and Alpha, named Alpha Stone Royal, played by Fox. His wife was played by a singer and actress named Delia Renes. Della Renes. Again, if I pronounce anything, I deeply apologize in the future. If I pronounce anything wrong, I must be tired. <laughs> I don't feel tired, though. While researching for an episode of Ro The Royal Family, Fox collapsed after wrapping up a scene with Renee Ren Ren Resne. As he was known for faking art attacks, it, uh, it was assumed that it was Faulkner performing his usual act while playing as for Fox. 
Fred Sanford, what were the name realized saying Fox was not getting up, she rushed over the Fox. His final words were, get my wife. Fox later died of a heart attack at the age of 68. While Fox was a fi fixer in the Las Vegas scene all throughout his career, at the height of his fame, Fox purchased a house near the area of Eastern and Hessenia. As Fox's career took a turn for the worst in the 1980s, he was facing some financial issues of his own. Specifically, he, uh, specifically, he owed a thousand of dollars in taxes. The home was seized in 1989 by the IRS, the, thus leading to Fox, leading Fox to make return on the mainstream Harlem Nights and later, the royal family. Around the time of Fox's pa passing, he was said to have owned nearly four million in taxes. The death of Fox, of Red Fox, may have been brought on by the stress of dealing with, the, dealing with financial struggles and trying to make a comeback on his terms. Considering he was in his late 60s, a comeback seemed like it was an uphill battle. A home was later purchased in the 1990s as a part of a tax sale. The home was owned by Jesse Naron, who was one of, the, one of many Elvis impersonators. Trying to make a big in Las Vegas, Naron and his uncle resigned in the home for a short time. One of the main reasons why they left might have been quite obvious. Brandon claim, claimed to have felt home spots in some parts of the house. He also claimed another ghost, some other ghostly presence, like doors randomly opening and closing. Also, he would see the light, lights turn on and off automatically without anyone manning the switch. It was then that Daron had hired a medium to find it, figure out what was going on. Not surprising, surprisingly, it would have appeared that the paranormal activity was indeed linked to the spirit of Red Fox. The medium believed Fox's spirit was quite angry about the changes to his home. Of course, Fox then lose the home two years before his death to many paranormal fanatics fa fa that know the story and should come as no surprise. Today, Red Fox's old home has now been converted into a real estate office. Even then, Fox is still up to his old tricks playing pranks on the employees of the office. Red Fox Mm. Red Fox may still be living at his beloved Las Vegas home. Don't be surprised if you ever hear stories about the paranormal activity that may take place even when you're passing through. So, I never heard of Red Fox until I did research on this video, and he seemed like a very successful actor. For what he has done and everything and what happened to him was very sad to be honest. I don't know if I will ever go to Vegas in this lifetime but if I ever knew I can never say never but if I ever knew I would love to visit the Las Vegas real estate office. I mean my mom's in real estate so maybe it's gonna get me in somehow. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for watching my channel and videos. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I am Haunting Girl, and I'll speak to you later. Until next time, pleasant dreams.